Hey, if you don't subscribe, like, and turn on notifications, you are weird. So do that right now so you can stay notified on my shit. Enjoy the video, cuzzo. Star Caddy Bay State Park is very serene. This is where I often relax and think about shit. I see, man. I think about a lot of shit here. My mother, my family, my legacy, pretty much anything that is momentous to me. Damn. I feel bad, gang. I actually think a lot about my childhood. Yeah, didn't you say that Sage and his friends bullied you because of your dream of becoming a wrestler, for being poor, and for being slow in school academically? I know you heard me that day when I was beefing with Sage just recently. And yeah, it's the reason why I have been a piece of human garbage towards other people at Springfield. Well, if that's the case, mind telling me about it more. Alright, will do. Growing up, my family grew up partially poor. We've been farmers, and pretty much poor commoners for the first 11 years of my life, during the time. I always completed the work around the farm, and every night when my chores were completed, I would go inside just in time to watch wrestling. Every night when I see the Dudley Boys, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and a bunch of other wrestlers, I started to have a passion to be a wrestler myself one day. While I had dreams of becoming a wrestler, back in the day, Sage, Vincent, and Luke thought it was a fake dream. Every time they seen me, they always picked on my wealth and dreams. They always called me a hick, and they said I will never make my dream come true. Not just because I was poor, and slow in school, but mainly because I couldn't fight well at all. You're probably the next cheeseburger if you enter an actual ring kid. A dog shit wrestler who will probably lose to a simple punch. I bet you'll probably get crushed by Ricochet and his selling ass one day. That is, if you even make it with your slow ass. I wouldn't even be surprised if you even survive another year in this poor hellhole you call a home buddy. Ha 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 ha. Damn man. So you were a wrestling fan as well. Even throwing the Dudley boys in the mix. That's my favorite tag team. Yeah. I was a long time Dudley boys fan as well as the Briscoes. We have some things in common then. The topic of tag teams. But anyways, back to the point. I feel bad for you man. And believe me, I think just like you when people piss me off. Always trying to take revenge on others for provoking me. Yeah. I always thought revenge was always the way to go every time Sage and his friends made me feel like shit since fifth grade. Ever since high school. I tried my best to do so. I really started to give it to him ever since I threw that glass bottle at his head, and I low-key had no remorse doing so. And for Sage to bring his little friends against me and beat me down group by group, ruined my chance at getting my fair shot at him. I'm starting to see the inner demon inside of you trip. You know, when I first knew about you, you were honestly the big timer running Springfield at the time. You gotta keep trying your hardest to unleash that demon of yours so you can find a way to get even with Sage. They've gotten away with pussy shit, and it's your turn now. I'm trying man. Don't worry, like I said, I'm finna help you take down Sage and his Mary Sue friends, and keep the legacy of my Hawkeyes, and your old gang's legacy and remembrance. There's two things I want in this world nowadays. To have a fair match against Sage so I prove that I'm not a weak loser, and to one day, see my parents, so I can hug them in my arms again, and apologize to them, as well as other people that aren't fond of Sage, that I have hurt before. Believe me man, getting expelled and taken away from your family, especially after you were bullied in the past, and mass assaulted, fucks a man's life up. Those are the only things I want in this world. To prove I'm a man now, and to see my parents again. After I was expelled, I was missing them, badly. We have another thing in common trip. Once again, we're becoming more and more compatible. Wait, what? You mean that you- Not exactly like you, especially with the expulsion shit, as bad as I've been. But at least you have both your mother and father. 
My mother passed away. She passed away from drunk driving, and got struck by another drunk driver. Both of their levels were at 800ths over the limit of being drunk. Both of them passed away. That happened in 8th grade, about 3 years ago, but me and my brother Tavon were chewed up about losing our mom ever since. When that happened, I felt like parts of my life left to heaven with her. And it was probably the love and goodness I had inside of me. Sang said with Tavon. I never been a calm and loving guy ever since, which was why I honestly cause a lot of havoc. I don't wanna tell other people about it cause they'll think I'm soft. I cause ruckus so others take me seriously, and find me as an abrasive guy, so that way nobody finds me crying and being emotional like a weakling about shit. I'm sorry for your loss Slim. Even though I never experienced losing a loved one, I still feel sorry for you. It's all good man. While we are feeling a little despondent, we still need to find a way for you to get your redemption, and actual revenge on Sage and his Mary Sue friends. It's time to put respect on your name, and make sure that you get the even fight against that man you deserve for doubting you. You're right Era Slim. And I think I know what I'm finna do to settle a score with Sage. Even worse than what he did to me, and trust me, we're not finna do the gang up bullshit like when they did it to me and my old friends. We're finna do something more extreme than that. 